In my last video I explained the detailed story of Insidious Chapter 1. In the end of the Insidious Chapter 1 we have shown that the old woman entered our world by possessing the body of Josh and she killed Elise, after that Renai finds the camera which has a photo of that old woman who now has possessed Josh, and the chapter 1 ends with this twist. Now today in this video I will explain the detailed story of Insidious Chapter 2. But if you haven't watched my last video on Insidious Chapter 1 I suggest you to watch that video by clicking on the i button before watching this one. In the beginning of Insidious Chapter 2, the time of 1986 is shown. It is the time when demonologist Elise is young, and she visits the house of Josh's mother Lorraine. Obviously, Josh is a little kid here. Josh's mother Lorraine shows Elise all photos in which a bride demon was coming towards Josh gradually. Elise knows while investigating that Josh has a power to transmit himself into the world of the dead people. A demon follows him due to this ability of Josh. It is not enough but he wants to possess him. Elise also feels the presence of that demon which tortures Elise psychologically. Elise and Lorraine end all memories regarding this incident and Josh's ability to transmit into the another world. After 25 years, the current time is shown, where police officer is interrogating the death of Elise from Josh's wife Renai. Renai reveals to the police officer about the paranormal incident of her house, but police officer does not believe her. He tells Renai, police officer will offend Josh if the fingerprints of murderer on the neck of Elise are matched with Josh's. Josh is shifted with family in his mother's house. But Renai also feels the paranormal things here. As music player and piano starts playing, and her younger daughter begins to weep, seeing someone. She also falls from the cradle itself. She tells Josh about these incidents who does not believe but falls out. Josh reveals to Renai, a demon had followed him when he returned from the world of dead people, who ended Elise but now everything is according to the routine. And Renai has to agree with Josh grudgingly. Now it is shown that Elise's colleagues who are demonologists visit Elise's house. In their presence at Elise's house, a room door is automatically open. Going into that room they both find a videotape of year 1986 at that place. It is the same videotape that Elise had made while investigating Josh's case, when he was young. Both demonologists notice that there is someone standing at the back side of Josh with whom he is talking. Lorraine is near Dalton when he is sleeping. He tells in his sleep that there is someone behind Lorraine. Then Lorraine encounters a white-dressed woman in her house. Lorraine is frightened and tells Josh about it. But Josh was not willing to trust her. Contrarily, he uses wrong words for her. Dalton is seated near Renai in the morning time. He is scared and tells Renai that he has a nightmare. Then he reveals his nightmare. Dalton is telling the moment of last night when Lorraine was with him. He was talking with her when the white-dressed woman was behind Lorraine. Dalton also tells Renai that Josh talks with an invisible thing in the loneliness. Thinking it, Dalton is very scared. Renai calms him down saying everything will be alright. Renai receives a call of police officer who tells that the fingerprints on Elisa's neck do not match with the fingerprints of Josh. But it was hard to swallow for Renai because Elise was killed by Josh. Then mysterious things begin to happen and Renai encounters the black-dressed demon there. Then Renai hears the sounds of demon from her little daughter's room. Then her daughter starts crying. Renai tries to run to her daughter's room hurriedly, but someone locks the door from inside. Somehow, Renai enters the room while opening the door. She does not find her little daughter inside. Once again, a voice is heard of that demon from another room. That old woman's spirit attacks Renai. Consequently, Renai loses her consciousness. Lorraine immediately visits the Elise colleague who is a demonologist. She tells him, demon is still in their house, and her family is at risk, and she asks help from them. They both show Lorraine the same childhood video of Josh. Using the zoom lens, they show the shadow behind Josh in that video, and that shadow is the youth of Josh. Seeing it, Lorraine is quite disturbed. She calls demonologist who is Elise's colleague, and senior demonologist tries to contact the spirit of Elise, using dice. Elisa's spirit clues them to visit that hospital where Lorraine used to serve as a doctor. And the strange thing is, that hospital was locked for a long time. Going into the hospital room, Lorraine recalls an incident. A patient named Parker was admitted there, when she used to work here many years ago. Because Parker was mysterious. And that patient suddenly attacks Josh when he had once visited there with Lorraine. And Lorraine encounters this patient in the elevator of the hospital after many days of that incident. He was not responding to Lorraine when she talks to him. Then Lorraine complains to a nurse about him. 
patient named Parker is wandering in the hospital instead of taking rest. Nurse reveals a surprising fact that patient had committed suicide yesterday. He is no more in this world. Then it is shown that a demon was threatening to Josh to root out his family. Renai is frightened after coming into senses. Josh tries to explain to her. And Renai runs to her daughter's room to check. She finds her daughter safe and secure. Renai tells Josh that a white-dressed woman had attacked her. And nothing is usual. Then disagreeing with her, Josh advises her to ignore these spirits. Suddenly, the sound of playing piano is heard. And when they both go there to check, there is no one. Then Renai plays the same music on the piano which is playing at that time. And Josh asks him to stop the music playing. Then Renai asks a question to Josh, to guess, which song she's playing, but Josh is unable to remember anything. Renai had made this melody for Josh so she is left surprised and upset. On the other side, all demonologists go to the house of that patient Parker, taking Lorraine. When Elisa's both colleagues move upstairs, then they discover a baby room. But the most surprising thing was that, there were all baby girls' toys, but Parker was a man. There they both encounter a little girl ghost which says to them, go away from here, otherwise, she will compel me to kill you. They leave the room in fear. Dalton is awakened hearing some sounds, and Dalton faces the frightened ghost of someone which asks help from him. At the same time, many demons attack Dalton, coming there. Dalton tries to rescue himself while shouting. Then Renai relaxes him, approaching there. Lorraine glimpses a big photo frame at Parker's house where the same white-dressed woman photo is along with a kid, who was seen by the both demonologists. Then an evil power attacks Lorraine, falling chandelier. But Elisa's colleague saves her. Then they know that they have not been called here by Elisa's spirit but Parker's mother who is that white dressed woman spirit, she is a demon. Then they discover a secret room where they find a black wedding dress and a box stuffed with the old newspapers. Elisa's co-worker discovers that Parker used to warn a black wedding dress, assuming the identity of a woman. And he used to kill young girls. And it was manipulated by his dead mother's spirit. And the black dress lady who was the pursuer of Josh from his childhood was Parker's demon not anyone else. Here Elisa Lisa's colleague also knows that Josh's body has been possessed by Parker. This is the cause that spirit of Josh has entrapped in the world of the dead people. Next day, Lorraine reveals everything to Renai. She also says, everyone's life is at risk and there is other spirit in Josh's body. And she suggests to keep the kids away from Josh. On the other side, Elisa's colleagues go to the house of Josh, so that they release Parker's spirit from Josh. Elisa's two colleagues stay in the van outside while the senior demonologist goes inside the house. They were hearing the conversation of Josh and the senior demonologist at the back. Senior demonologist takes out a sedative injection to make Josh unconscious when Josh goes inside to take a glass of water. Suddenly, Josh comes there and asks Elisa's colleague, what is in your hand? Then that demonologist catches the sight of Josh's hidden hand at his backside. When demonologist asks Josh, what is in your hand? Josh replies, ask from your dice that what is in my hand. He says, my mother's spirit has informed me that you used dice dice perfectly last night. Here Parker was speaking out from Josh. He has remembered the last night incidents. Then Elisa's colleague throws the dice down which displays the word knife. And then Josh attacks Elisa's senior colleague, taking out a knife. Hearing all, Elisa's other colleagues move inside the house to help the senior. Being uncontrolled, Josh knocks the both colleagues out and kills Elisa's senior colleague. As a manipulator of Josh, Parker sends a message from the Elisa's colleagues mobile to Lorraine, so they both come inside the house. Then it is seen that Elisa's colleague glimpses the spirit of Josh in the world of the dead people. Then a ghost says something to Josh. Being alive, Josh was not seeing or hearing that ghost. That ghost tells Josh that his daughter is in Parker's possession, indicating at his house. Then Josh sees the same demon before his house that was also seen in the th chapter 1. That demon takes its steps into the house. Seeing it, Josh also runs to the house. He knocks at the door violently. Then it is told that he was Josh's spirit who was knocking at the house house door at night not another person, which was entrapped in the world of the dead people. Coming down, Josh's spirit finds itself inside the house. Opening the door, Josh goes inside the room to rescue his daughter's life, and he saves her from the demon. Josh faces that demon but demon was more powerful than Josh. Then Elisa's spirit saves Josh's spirit's life while coming there. Then Elise declares Josh, it is not your world, return back to your own world, and send Parker's
Parker's spirit in this world after releasing it from your body. But he has to make a visit at Parker's house to do this. But Josh was recalling nothing about it. Then Elisa's spirit arranges a meeting of Josh with the little version of Josh himself. It is that time when young Josh comes after little Josh to ask about that black dressed woman. Josh asks the place from little Josh, where is he? And little Josh reveals the place as where he is. Contrarily, Renai and Lorraine move inside the house. Now the body of Josh was completely possessed by Parker, and he attacks both of them. Locking Lorraine into a room, he is about to kill Renai. Then Dalton arrives there and hits a bat on the head of Josh. And Renai runs to storeroom, taking her kids. On the opposite side, Josh's spirit moves to Parker's house with Elise and her colleague spirits from the world of dead people. There they see the childhood of Parker. They witness that Parker's mother compels him to disguise in a girl while torturing him and she used to form him as a girl not a boy. Parker was habitual to wear the female's dress and his mother was the reason behind it. Then Parker's mother looks at Elise and her colleague and she attacks them. On the other side, Dalton says to Renai that he will save Josh from the world of dead people while going there. Then Dalton goes to the world of the dead people in reality. Parker has whole possession over the body of Josh. Parker's mother is nearly to kill Josh in the world of the dead people, while she is about to manipulate Parker to kill Dalton in the actual world. Then Elise rescues Josh in the world of the dead people, coming there. Elise weakens Parker's mother while beating. Parker also begins to lose his strength in the actual world as his mother weakens. Reaching there, Lorraine saves the body of Dalton. Elise says to Josh and her colleague in the dead people world that you both are still alive. So go back to your actual world. Passing through many ghosts, they both are searching the way which leads to the actual world. Then Dalton approaches there, who takes his father and Elisa's colleague into the actual world. Josh comes back into his body. Now everything is alright. Contrarily, Elisa's colleague erases all memories of Dalton and Josh in which they made a visit to another world, so that they may not visit that world again. On the other side, Elisa's colleagues are shown who visit a house so they help a resident girl who has some mysterious things in her. Elise is also with them who is visible only before that girl not for others. The movie also ends here. So, this was the story of this insidious chapter 2 if you enjoyed this like this video and subscribe the channel for more such horror movies explanations, and if you have any questions feel free to ask in comments below.